Welcome to Val's Sweet Kitchen. A baccarine is a French ice cream cake and it's really easy and fun to make. You just have to plan ahead a little bit and I'll explain more on that later on. So stick around. Anyway, preheat your oven to 200 degrees and let's go have some fun. Now for your pans, you're going to need two of the same type of pan with a removable bottom. I have these two, I have two cake pans, eight inch, this recipe is for an eight inch and I put the, the, the whole recipe in the description below like I do with all my videos. You can also use a springform pan too. Either one's fine and they're just as easy. We're gonna start with the meringue first. So to prepare your parchment paper, you draw two circles and make sure they're spread apart. Your meringue could grow a little bit while it's baking. And you're gonna need three egg whites. Make sure your bowl is super clean or you won't get the finished product. It won't whip up into this ooey gooey goodness. By separating your egg whites in a separate bowl, if your yolk is gonna burst, it's gonna burst here and not ruin your whole batch. And then whip these till they're nice and frothy on medium speed. You'll get smaller bubbles that way and a better meringue. And to this add one level teaspoon of cornstarch and then add three fourths of a cup of sugar, but you want to add it real slowly. And to make me add it slowly, I use a tablespoon. So I just take my sugar and just add it like this. This makes me add it slow enough so that the sugar fully breaks down and mixes in. If you dump it all together too fast, it'll get lumpy. Don't want that. Nope. You're going to beat it to stiff peaks. This is stiff peaks. See the mountain peak? Anyway, we're going to add and fold in one cup of powdered sugar. Powdered sugar also has cornstarch in it. So along with the cornstarch we added earlier and in the powdered sugar, this is going to be very thick and stable. You want to fold this in till it's nice and smooth. And then with a half inch piping tip, we're going to fill our circles and make sure you place the circles on the drawn side down. We don't want any pencil lead in our meringue. And here's a tip if you've never piped before. Your top hand is putting in the pressure. Your bottom hand is really just a guide. And if you have left over, just make some dollops. And we'll use them for decorations. Just squeeze, stop, pull up. Squeeze, stop, pull up. All right. And then bake for two hours at 200 degrees. We're really not baking. We're more or less drying everything out. But this way, it's going to expand some, but not crack. And it's going to be thoroughly baked all the way through. And while your meringues are baking, let's get started on the raspberry sorbet. The difference between a sorbet and a sherbet is the sorbet has no dairy, no milk. So you start with three cups of raspberries or 370 grams, two tablespoons of honey, 
and I'm using Illinois Beekeepers Association honey. It's all natural. One teaspoon of lemon juice and one cup of sugar. Whiz that all together and then strain it to get out the gazillion seeds. So now it's ready to turn in our home ice cream maker. Um, you want to plan in advance when you're making this cake because ice cream makers in the home versions are really good for only about one batch a day. So I already made the vanilla layer on top of the meringue earlier and we're going to make the raspberry today. You want to chill this, the barrel, for 24 hours. And you just pour it right on in. And while that's churning, we can go ahead and prepare our meringues for the bottom of the pan. Just carefully trim off the edges with a knife. Careful not to go too fast or you could crack the whole thing. And then once it's ready, very quickly pour, pour it into your pan. And then freeze it until it's firm. And that's gonna be about four hours. It's a plan ahead dish for sure, but it's so good. And it's real easy to get out of the pan. You just take a warm tea towel, wrap it around, wait a moment, and it slides right out. And then we'll do the same with the raspberry. And then with a warm spoon, and I'm using a warm dish of water next to it, gently melt the top and put the layers together. And then put the whole thing back in the freezer to chill some more and solidify and glue together. Now for the whipped frosting. You can do mascarpone and whipped cream or cream cheese. The mascarpone is gonna be a little bit more creamier, a little bit more European. I'm gonna use cream cheese this time. You just take one brick or eight ounces, softened, Beat that until it's smooth and add three-fourths cup of powdered sugar, a teaspoon of vanilla, and whisk that to combine all the ingredients, scraping down the sides as necessary. And then we're going to add in just a little bit of heavy whipping cream to loosen it up and then add in the rest and whip it all to stiff peaks. Okay, you have to work quickly and fast here. And we'll just do some swirls. And for the raspberries you saved, up on top. I love baking. One more, right there. Great. Mm -hmm. mm. Love it. I hope you have fun today. If you did, give it a like and a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. If you make this at home, leave a comment on how it turned out. It's really good. <laughs>